Now it's still a little bit of a mess because of all the rain we've had, but over the past few weeks they have installed these things on the roof. These are the rails, those are the horizontal things, and the little vertical things are the, um, the posts that the rails are fastened to. That's right. Can you imagine any folks like, oh my god. All right, so the panels are on the first roof. And they're going to take them up to the second roof and start mounting them on the rails. There are a total of 36 panels exactly. Each panel generates 215 watts of power. Now, what you're seeing them do here, they're going to repeat 36 times. And believe it or not, this is not the most time-consuming part of the whole operation. Thank you. 
This is the installation, 36 solar panels. All right, this is the uh, monitoring program. We have a USB cable going from the inverter out uh, to the uh, office and uh, into uh, my computer. And this is real-time monitoring um, of the solar array. As you can see at this moment, it's only about 800 and, what is that, 806 watts, um, which is uh, very, very low because it is raining outside. So it will get up to 5 and 6 kilowatts when it gets really, really sunny. Oh, it went up to 811 watts. And uh, this is an easy way to monitor uh, exactly what the performance of the solar array is doing. This is the inverter. It is, everything's energized now. It's still pretty cloudy outside. Uh, we had a good day yesterday, but today it's very, very cloudy. It's about 2.30, uh, and uh, with all the clouds in the sky, we're still generating 1,215 watts of AC power which is uh, pretty respectable. Um, it's not really the uh, most efficient that it could be because it's so cloudy, but it's still uh, 1.2 kilowatts of power that uh, otherwise we'd be paying for, but instead we're generating. Let's see what it's doing to the electricity going into the grid or going into the house. This is the main meter going into the house, and look at it. You can see that it is actually going backwards which means that the amount of energy that we are actually are using is much less than that which we are generating. 